Hey guys, welcome back to Landscape Alert. In this video, we are going to be recreating this modern contemporary uh, park design. Now, this is a video that I took when I was in Dallas. So if you happen to be there in downtown Dallas, you can find this small space that is well designed. Now, I don't have any information regarding who the architect is or designer. So if you want to do me a solid and if you happen to one know the architect, please put his name below in the comments i would appreciate it very much and i know others would as well i don't know a lot of the intent for this park other than it looks amazing and we can definitely gather good ideas for a future design um, that you could potentially use this in your house depending on the type of house and or design that you are going for so now that we have all that out of the way let's get started so as i mentioned earlier this is in the area of Dallas uh, in downtown. So I'm going to start off real quick with what we are working with here in terms of trees and shrubs, which actually there's none, um, the types of trees and also the type of grass that you can use for this area. So we will only really see two types of trees in this area, which will be the live oak, which is, you know, the bigger ones that you can see here in this park and also the japanese maples now let's talk a little bit about the oaks um they are going to grow about 80 to 120 wide so significantly wide and they are going to be multi-stem as you can see on some of them now some of them are going to be a single stem as it grows it will multiply and or uh, the canopy will grow very large as you can see here from the footage or the beginning of the video in terms of the maple there are different kinds of maples that you can use um, spe specifically talking about the japanese maples 
so some of them can grow say around eight feet and some can go all the way to 30 and there's even more out there but just to give you in terms of uh, what we are looking here and I should say also that by the time I visit some of the trees or some of the maples were no longer there at one point there were way more and I am guessing that they didn't survive so some of those were missing um, at the same time speaking about grass I believe that the grass that are being used or is used here in this park is the St. Augustine grass which is very common in Dallas or in the Dallas area even though it is not native to Texas it thrives really well um, and in fact many people use them in their uh, properties uh, talking about landscape and so forth of course there are other kinds that you can use in the area like the Bermuda you can also use the soysia and as well as the centipede grass but as I mentioned regarding the St. Augustine um, it does really well for itself and it's it's not necessarily the most tough in the area but it does really well for the Dallas area so we have that little bit out of the way so let's talk in terms a bit more of the design in itself now I will say that I really couldn't find a lot of details in terms of the actual architecture of this or the design so I don't know a lot of the measurements and when I was there I was so uh, fascinated with the design that I was walking around and then I started filming so I did not take any notes for myself so this is a little bit of a guess approximate numbers uh, for from what I can see but I am 100% sure that I am off in some or in other areas of the measurements now I gather that it was gonna be the area was gonna be about 140 by 120 um, feet uh, as far as the space of this park um, now one thing I should mention about this is that it has great access the way it was designed is that you can literally go around the main centerpiece which is the great water feature it, that you've seen um, and it's uh, one of the great things about this design is that the water runs on the top of the wall and then once the wall ends it descends down and you have really two water features there if anything so you have the lower water feature which only goes up to a certain height which is kind of down to the ground it only goes about 10 inches and then it goes down into um, where's the catch basin and then you also have the other one which is the one that I mentioned a second ago that runs across the wall the top of the wall and then lands inside this inner rectangle so we have two rectangles a smaller one and a bigger one the bigger one is going to have one of the water features and the smaller one is where you that catches all the water for both of them so that's super cool and unique i don't see that often in many designs um, but it can definitely be used for a project especially if you want to do something very contemporary so now that we have that out of the way i should also add that in terms of material there really is not a lot of different materials that you can see in the area in fact you will see the grass which i mentioned earlier um, you will also see some decomposed granite or crash granite which is that thing that people walk on and then you're gonna see um, in the actual water feature some of the more pink red granite which is mostly around inch and a half or so um, and of course the concrete walls themselves and i guess you can add the seating if you want to you know for in terms of looks which is wood but you know there's not a ton of stuff so it's not super convoluted but it is very well uh, mixed together now in terms of the walls as i mentioned they are concrete and they are more in this idea of what a foundation is so you know solid walls um, and some are going to be longer than others but all of them will have doors so in terms of height they are running around 8 to 10 feet I believe the one that has the water feature is the taller one which runs around 10 feet in the same one across then the one that uh, leads you in uh, well um, there's a few walls those are a little bit uh, shorter about eight feet and in terms of thickness uh, we do have two different kinds um, of, of course it kind of has to be that way which is one is going to be about uh, 12 inches and i believe i don't know for a fact so if you happen to be there or 
miss it, um, let me know how wide is the wall for the water feature. I like to think that it's about um, 18 to 24 inches, but there's a good chance that it's probably more. I like to think that's probably about 34 inches because it would give it enough space, um, especially for the water run. So it's kind of thick, but not too thick um, where you, could, you can have um, all this going on. Now, there's also a seating space um, that's also made out of uh, concrete, which is, you know, just uh, for, for seating purposes, um, 20 inches high and about um, two feet wide, a little bit more than that, I, most likely two and a half. Um, and it's about 35 feet um, long. Uh, and then you have, of course, as I mentioned earlier, the doors um, or the spaces to get in between, which is great because you can go there um, and if you, for whatever reason, need uh, to push in, say, a wheelchair, you can also have access to it and go all around it. Be very close to the water feature and kind of move back and kind of just enjoy this great design. Um, there is also some um, lighting, some landscape lighting that you can see on the ground. I was not there uh, at, at night, so I didn't know exactly how that looked, but I can just imagine when at least one was originally built, it probably looked very, very good. Um, it still looks great, I should add, but of course, because of some of those trees that did not survive, um, you could always add more, of course, but uh, currently, at least when I was there, um, some of those trees were not there. So if you add more, you can just imagine it even being better. Um, so yeah, so we have those areas, we have those trees, um, we have access all around. We have this impressive water feature. I think it's amazing. And I think you can use this and uh, maybe not necessarily copy the whole thing because you know you would need a little bit of space or a good amount of space but you can definitely gather from this the idea of a water feature which i want to use in a future design of mine unfortunately some of the homes that i'm working right now they don't have a lot of that super contemporary look to it so i will have to wait till i get one of those projects but if i ever do i will definitely share it with you because that's what i like doing i like sharing my designs and also um seeing other designs from other architects designers and if you are in the process of doing your own landscape anywhere of your house if you want to share with me you can always tag me over on instagram you'll see it right now and you will also see on uh, my tiktok account which is going to be the same thing shorter versions of this you know just the snippets of what this is at least a youtube video and of course um this is going to bring us to an end because i don't have more information to share unfortunately but don't forget to subscribe it does help for those who are wanting to design and let me know if I should be making longer version of videos, um, you know, where I'm kind of show step by step. As I mentioned before, I am using um, a design app on my tablet, um, which is called Concepts. And I also use an escape more for my um, uh, other projects. So I do use various apps and programs to create my designs, to color them, and also um, to get all my footage and everything out. So let me know if I should be making anything different else, or is there something that you think it's great and I should check out? Let me know your recommendations below in the comments. And guys, don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff. It does help. And of course, don't forget the model here, which is Dream Design Create. And I will see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.